Hello everyone, my name is Karian Gonzalez and my partner is Bella Gonzalez. Today we will talk about international logistics. What is this? Logistics is the management process of planning, implementing and controlling the physical and information flows concerned with materials and final goods from the point of origin to the point of usage. International logistics involves the management of these resources in a company supply chain across at least one international border. Um, the, this logistics chain in, in a globalized environment competes alongside products. They require the cooperation of manufacturers, distributors and logistic operators to achieve the highest efficiency and lowest possible cost in each product with the requisite availability, availability and flexibility. Logistics in the international trade the programming of the logistic chain must be progressing from the moment in which the company decides to export or import a product. It affects both the design of the packaging materials as well as the terms of the delivery that will be agreed in the contract of sale, among other things. In addition to the specific costs of any logistic operation, the main elements that, mu that must be considered are nature and characteristics of the merchandise, unit law, mode of transport, among others. Nature and characteristics of the merchandise. These determine the configuration of the unit load, the mode of transport that should be used in the storage and handling systems. It is worth making a distinction between first, general cargo in loose unit of group in pallets, mainly transport in containers. Now, bulk cargo. This can be transport in containers or other cargo transport units. In bulk carriers, gas carriers, tankers, etc. Special load. Due, due to its size, weight, volume, etc. It requires a special handling or transport condition. Now, temperature control cargo. It may be refrigerated, um, frozen, deep frozen, or hot, dangerous goods. Particularly, those include in the international regulations, EDR agreement, EMDG code, EATR, DGR rules, and RED agreement. Roll-on, roll-off cargo. Comprise of platform that slides on wheels, semi-trailers, trucks, wagons, etc. Other merchandise such as as valuables or leaf animals. Unit load. This must pose to basic qualities, resistance and stability which are achieved through the products, packaging materials. Um, the partial load is usually grouped on pallets that once shrink grape comprise an individual unit load that makes the handling and storage of the merchandise easier, increases its safety and contributes to a more efficient handling. Pallets are mainly transport in cargo transport unit CTU made for use in international transport whose most usual manifestation in international trade is the container is the container the filling or consolidation of the container in accordance with the regulation on stowage and cargo secure securing can be carried carried out by the exporting company of, or the logistics operator uh, resulting in a complete container or a groupage container Mode, uh, now a uh, mode of transport choosing the mode of transport is conditioned 
by factors such as the country of destination, the nature, value, and volume of the merchandise and the planet delivered time. First, road. The contract is the formalized in the CMR consignment note, regulated by the C by the CMR agreement. Second, railway. Formalized in the CEM consignment notes regulated by the CEM agreement. Third, maritime, regulated by the HAC rules, the contract is formalized in the Bill of London. Air, this is regulated by the Montreal Convention, the contract is formalized in the Airway Bill AWV. Also, most containerized, containerized goods travel by scheduled service container ships on transcontinental journeys. There are certain goods to travel with air temperature control products, available products, live animals, spare parts, etc. While transportation within the same continent is mainly done by truck or rail. Thank you so much. Now, my partner, Peter. Transportation process. Although the coast history is very diverse, in international transport, there are some common elements. Signing of the transport contract between the London company, exporter or importer, as agreed in the contract of sale and fixed via incontent rules, and the international logistic operator. Collection of the goods in the exporting company's warehouse, usually via a vehicle, headed for the transport terminal, full container, or the or to the logistic operator's warehouse, partial load. Handling and storage in the operator's logistics platform or in the transport terminal. Landing and stowaway on the means of transport after custom processing onto the, the departure terminal, transportation of the merchandise of, on the main means of transport, unloading on the boarding and the destination terminal and import custom processing. Handling and storage in the transport terminal or in the logistic platform of the international transport operator. Transfers of the merchandise full container to the warehouse of the import, importing company. If it is a partial lot, it is necessary to consolidate in front of the container beforehand. Legislation and regulations. Legislation and regulations for edge export or import transport operation issues that concern the London company exclusively. Stowaway and securing of cargo, x ray and transport of dangerous goods, x ray and transport of perishable goods or products for human consumption transfer of uh, protected spaces, logistics, and the international contract of sales. There are aspects of logis that is important to access and plan before taking on risks and responsibilities in the contract of sale, such as a specific the exact delivery point already in the destination country, Consider the physical risks of the operation, whether death, loading, and um, most appropriate uh, income terms rule to suit the operations logistic complexity, manager, transportation, truck, and uh, international logistical operator, have insurance covered throughout the inter transportation process.